Hi, Dr. Schneider friends. Today we will talk about wife and mother-in-law. Many times we hear the stories that uh, uh, daughter-in-law is a problem, so uh, family life is get family life gets disturbed. And daughter-in-law say that my mother-in-law is so such then family life gets uh, disturbed. So within one house, under one room, there uh, under one roof, there are so much fight and so much dissatisfaction goes on. So it is, it is simple material life, and we have to find solution and try to make our best in order to make each of our family members happy. So what might be the problem? What, uh, why daughter-in-law uh, considers her mother mother-in-law uh, obstacle in her? family happiness and mother-in-law considers daughter-in-law an obstacle in her family happiness. So first daughter-in-law should understand that she fell in love with her husband because he, um, her husband had such like good qualities. Because why he had such like qualities? Because, uh, because of his mother. His mother from childhood, she feed her, feed him very nicely, made him very healthy. She took care of his health, so your husband is now very healthy. She took care of his study education. Now because of he, because of her, she, uh, your husband now is educated and he goes out and serves to the society and earns money and maintains you. So you have to see these qualities, you have to appreciate it. This, it is because of his mother. It was she who um, educated him to have good qualities as like respect to other women, respect to all living entities. And because of those good qualities, you fell in love with your husband. So when you get married, uh, uh, the main problem we start to think that my husband or wife belongs to me only. It's a false ego. When you get married, it means you will cultivate relationship not only with your husband or wife, but you will you have to cultivate nice relationship, keep nice relationship with other members of the family. Basically, it, mm, it depends to girl because she moves to the family of her husband. And she has uh, to maintain good relationship with other family members, especially mother-in-law and father-in-law. So when she starts to think that my husband belongs to me, and mother-in-law starts uh, to think that no, my son belongs to me, so um, this false ego, two false egos comes together and they start to fight and dissatisfaction. So uh, one solution is was that that girls should understand that my husband belongs to his mother also, he belongs to the society also, he belongs to his rel uh, relatives also, and he is just maintaining me and helping me out of his love. So he she and she has to understand that, and sh she should not to separate uh, his, her husband uh, with uh, his mother. It is a very big mistake. What, we, uh, what she can do is to support, uh, to, to support the mother-in-law. She wants to cook nice food for her, her son, so she has to help, to, to help her. She wants uh, to make uh, the house very clean, so she has to help, 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 help. In this way she will cultivate loving relationships with mother and it says that if you want uh, to love uh, to love me you have to love my dog it is uh, very uh, very simple example so in this way husband son loves uh, his mother so and other his relatives so wife should accept it that okay my husband loves them so i have to love them so it is a sign of chastity so, uh, my dear sisters, be very grateful to your mother-in-laws, mother, -in -laws, mother uh, father in laws and try to understand that your husband doesn't belong only to you, but
but uh, he's taking care of you only out of love and you have to be grateful to that. Thank you.